this year we're gonna look at Washington, one of their more versatile shot plays. Been quite a few teams that have ran different things that are very similar to this. And all they really is is a boot with a throwback to the running back and a drag from somebody from the front side. So right here they're in a tray set, they bring motion, bring him back, fake the fly sweep, you can get real creative with this play. You have your tight end over here, they're gonna fake the run here to the weak side, making it look like outside zone with motion right there. So ball is snapped, you see faking across, backs there. And on this you can see, based on the alignment, they actually pull this center. He's out there to help protect for the half roll. Faking across, downhill, he's running across right there. Just a real dirty fake, doesn't really get too caught up with it. And now he gets out, booting away from it. That back is free releasing, getting vertical. So right there, fly motion, trying to take these guys wide. Running back's going right there, but he's basically sliding to the run right there, the run fake. You got a pull there to help protect the quarterback on the half roll. See quarterback, as soon as he gets to this spot, he's flipping his eyes around, and he actually dumps it down to that tight end. So right here, this tight end, he blocks that in for a second, allows his center to get out there, and then he's releasing to the flat. So if you're looking here on the back side, what you'll be looking for is a corner to chase. And right here, you can see this corner is getting a lot of depth. He's chasing. There's the wheel. Here's the linebacker, the only guy that can guard that if that corner is not there anymore. And once he vacates that area, there's nobody left right there for that tight end. To leak to the backside flats right there, just replaces that linebacker. Easy completion, you can see the linebacker that should be guarding that area is chasing the running back. And now they're rolling right there in space. Big play there against Michigan State. Again, fly motion, then he's returning. Making it look like outside zone that direction. All the line is sliding that direction. Center is pulling around, tight end is blocking this end, leaking to the flat so that this center can get there and help protect. Half roll from the quarterback, and all you're looking at is one to the running back, and then you have this leak come right there underneath if that linebacker is running. So easy throw and catch, creates an explosive play with that misdirection. And obviously, with all this, it looks like some sort of a boot, and these guys are getting width, trying to guard that, take advantage of it, and they did it multiple games. We'll see all those clips here in just a second. Here's another look with trips to the boundary. A little bit of tail motion right here. Different look for them because they're gonna run off. The numbers are a little bit different. Right there with that motion, you can see they lose this defender right here so the numbers even up. They're gonna fake the run that way so the line is actually sliding there. Center pulls on this one. Looks like there's a three technique up here so the center pulls. Again, he's gonna hopefully just pick up this defensive end once that tight end releases. So down blocking, these guys running off. You're getting a run, fake right there, half roll by the quarterback. There's a center pulling around, blocks the outside shoulder, so now we can get out. Great pocket here this time. And right there you can see running backs going vertical. The linebacker had seen it because they run this play quite a bit. He says, I've got to guard this running back at all times in the pass. And he sees him going vertical, so right there he vacates that space right here. The only guy that can guard this drag, if he's running vertical with that, is this linebacker. And as you see with that boot, he loses eyes on that tight end, starts working that way, creates an explosive play right here in the red zone area. So throws it down. Now he's chasing right there. Almost scores, get down to gets down to about the three-yard line. Again, great misdirection. Right here, they're playing zone. And the only way that this can be guarded right here with this zone is have that linebacker play this perfect, get over the top, and then this linebacker not get his eyes into the backfield and flow with a boot which they have plenty of plays right here where they boot to the front side, uh, but right there starts working there. Doesn't see that leak. Easy throw and catch. Turns it almost like a fade out with the running back and tight end from the opposite side. And creates a big play right there for Washington. Another look here from Washington, getting a receiver, fly motion, faking the run that direction. These guys are gonna slide there with the run. And on this one, you can see this looks like a maybe a two tech, maybe one tech. So this center can take him and this guard can pull around right there, hopefully. Again, blocking this defensive end. On this look right here, if you're looking at the protection, they actually bring the linebacker from that side, which actually makes this a little bit more difficult for the quarterback, because as he's getting around, instead of blocking this defensive end, he has to take, pick up this linebacker, and now you have a guy free into the quarterback's face, and right here, that makes him a little uncomfortable. A pretty good job here by UCLA guarding it. Again, playing zone. So right there, gonna run off this corner. As he fakes across, he's going vertical. This guy's the one that can take him, blocking right there running across. Great job here, he's getting over the top of him, sees the wheel coming. He's sitting right on top of that tight end, knowing that he's got that guy manned up. Definitely a viable option, they've ran this play a couple times this year. And right there, great coverage. 
by that linebacker great job being disciplined right there. Pretty aggressive there with that blitz. Causes this play to speed up just a little bit. Penix, he's feeling that pressure. He knows there's an extra guy, has to get out of his hand. And right there, it throws it off the top of somebody's helmet. But right there, one thing that's interesting about this that you kind of got to see is you're getting a fake and you're saying, we got to get some depth right here. Penix gets about four or five yards of depth and he flips his hips. Looking one, linebacker's on top. There's our second option right there. Great coach by the linebacker, but we're able to get out of our hand. Anytime you're getting in trouble, and right here with two off the edge on the boot, whether you're booting to that side or whether you're trying to throw back, anytime you have two off the edge on any kind of boot, now you're getting two on one with the guy that's pulling to help protect the quarterback. So right there, somewhat hot, got to get it out. And you always got to know your outlets on boots right there over the top of that guy's head. If I'm talking to the quarterback, I'd say, hey, we got to get this thing out. Could get a completion, somewhat tight coverage. But understand, I can obviously throw this over his head. I can throw it over his head. Try not to get that thing up for grabs right there in the middle of the field like it is right there. Get lucky with that ball bouncing off a helmet. There's nobody else uh, zoning in the middle of the field right there. But pretty good coverage there by UCLA. And you can see your outlets if you're getting hotter, if you're getting pressure with two to the front side on the boot right there.